Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. You know I have to admit it's good to see that every so often more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement. No reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. And let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 2 A man of the house of Levi went and took a daughter of Levi as his wife. The woman conceived and bore a son. When she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him away for three months. When she could no longer hide him, she took a papyrus basket for him and coated it with tar and with pitch. She put the child in it and laid it in the reeds by the river's bank. His sister stood far off to see what would be done to him. Pharaoh's daughter came down to bathe at the river. The maidens walked along by the riverside. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her servant to get it. She opened it and saw the child, and behold, the baby cried. She had compassion on him and said, This is one of the Hebrews' children. Then his sister said to Pharaoh's daughter, Should I go and call a nurse for you from the Hebrew women, that she may nurse the child for you? Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Go. The maiden went and called the child's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this child away and nurse him for me, and I will give you your wages. The woman took the child and nursed it. The child grew, and she brought him to Pharaoh's daughter, and he became her son. She named him Moses, and said, Because I drew him out of the water. In those days, when Moses had grown up, he went out to his brothers, and looked at their burdens. He saw an Egyptian striking a Hebrew, one of his brothers. He looked this way and that way. When he saw that there was no one, he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. He went out the second day, and behold, two men of the Hebrews were fighting with each other. He said to him, who did the wrong, Why did you strike your fellow? He said, Who made you a prince and a judge over us? Do you plan to kill me as you killed the Egyptian? Moses was afraid and said, Surely this thing is known. Now when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to kill Moses. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and lived in the land of Midian. And he sat down by a well. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. They came and drew water and filled the troughs to water their father's flock. The shepherds came and drove them away. Moses stood up and helped them, and watered their flock. When they came to Oyo, their father, he said, How is it that you have returned so early today? He said, An Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds, and moreover he drew water for us and watered the flock. He said to his daughters, Where is he? Why is it that you have left the man? Call him, that he may eat bread. Moses was content to dwell with a man, and gave Moses, Zephariah, his daughter. She bore a son, and he named him Gershom, for he said, I have lived as a foreigner in a foreign land. In the course of those many days, the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel sighed because of the bondage, and they cried, and the cry came up to God because of the bondage. God heard their groaning, 
And God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, with Jacob. God saw the children of Israel, and God was concerned about them.